This winter is taking a big turn as we are going to go from record breaking low temperatures to a heat wave across the United States. And then eventually we are going to see a few different storms, but in completely different areas than what we've been accustomed to throughout the month of February. So in today's forecast, we're to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that's going to be impacting the United States over the next seven to 10 days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country this morning. And for many of us, it is quiet. We only have a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity sitting in the Gulf and actually there's going to be something interesting happening this weekend revolving around this area of moisture because we are eventually going to see a tropical storm-like disturbance form in the Gulf as we go into tomorrow and that's going to bring some heavy rainfall and even some gusty winds along the Gulf Coast and then eventually heading towards Florida as we go into late Sunday and as well as into Monday. So definitely something interesting. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. The Great Plains and also the East Coast really quiet today. Enjoy the beautiful weather while it's here. Right now it's a little below average for most of us but we'll be seeing much warmer weather as we go into the work week and then back over in the Pacific Northwest atmospheric river events continue up there where some heavy rainfall continues in addition to snow in the higher elevations and before we go further into today's forecast I do want to make a big announcement if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below we are about 3,000 subscribers away from 1 million subscribers it would be crazy if we were able to hit that today and if we do reach 1 million subscribers this weekend I will do a celebratory live stream on my second channel which is more max velocity it is also the top link in the description below. I would do it on the main channel, but I want to keep everything on here weather related. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next week. And to look at that, we are going to look at the jet stream. Right now, our jet stream is relatively meridional, which means we have a lot of curvature throughout the jet stream. We actually have ridging that is building back over in the southwest. On the flip side, we've had some troughing back over in the northeast, but that is beginning to diminish. And eventually, the weather pattern is going to become very quiet for many of us in the United United States as we go into the early portion of this week. However, we are going to have a disturbance forming back over near the Gulf Coast, and that is going to allow for some heavy rainfall to fall across areas like the Gulf Coast and back through Florida as we go into late Sunday and as well as into Monday. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. By the time we go into the middle of next week, notice how the weather pattern really becomes very flat. We don't have any really definitive features here across the board in terms of big storm systems. The closest to that is the system that's going to be moving through Florida as we go into Monday and as well as into Tuesday, but eventually as we go into Wednesday into Thursday, look at this. We're going to have a big dip in the jet stream back over here in Canada and as well as back through the Ohio Valley and Northeast. This will end up likely being our next big storm system. I don't really think we're going to be talking about a severe weather outbreak or even a significant winter storm for right now. However, this is going to bring the threat for Arctic air again as we go into the middle and end of this week back over in parts of the Midwest and as well as back through the Northeast as we are going to have a very strong northerly wind coming out of Canada. And then once we go into the weekend, our jet stream is going to stay very far off to the north, which is going to allow for several Alberta clippers to move across Canada and then eventually move through parts of the Great Lakes, the Midwest, the Ohio Valley and Northeast, which could bring some occasional shots for snow and as well as some showers and isolated thunderstorms. But in general, we are not really forecasting any big storm systems here, at least over the next 10 days or so. But I do think that will change as we go into the first week or two of March. I do think we're going to start to see a much more active weather pattern. I think there could be some more big winter storms in areas like the Midwest. And then I also think we're going to start to see some severe weather outbreaks take place as we go into the first couple of weeks of March. Now, exactly where those happen, we have no clue, but that is at least what the guidance looks like for right now as we go into March. Now, this winter is taking a huge turn when it comes to both our temperatures and as well as our precipitation. Many areas are going from record breaking cold to now record breaking warm in some cases as we go into this upcoming week. And I honestly think winter is starting to wind down for many of us in the United States. That's just the reality. I think our snowstorms are going to become a lot smaller and honestly more confined areas in the northern plains, the Midwest, and the Northeast. On the other hand, I think severe weather is about to ramp up. So let's talk all about that here over the next few minutes, beginning with what our temperatures look like here even this morning. We still have many areas 20 to 30 degrees below average across the central and southern plains, the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and all up and down the East Coast. But it's all going to change as we go into Sunday into Monday as that warm air starts to filter in to areas throughout the Great Plains the Midwest and all throughout the East Coast as we go into Tuesday morning. Many areas around 5 to 15 degrees above average, nothing really record breaking here, but it will be a completely different story as we go into Tuesday afternoon as many areas in the central and northern plains will be as much as 25 to 35 degrees above average. We should see a few record breaking high temperatures, but really the main area will actually be back down in the southwest where many areas will be as much as 25 to 30 degrees above average, which will lead to some record breaking highs back over in Arizona, Nevada, and as well as into 
California. Eventually, as we go into Wednesday and as well as into Thursday, that warm air starts to simmer down a little bit, but it will intensify again by around Friday as we will likely see another shot of warm air back over in the northern plains. Some areas, again, as high as 30 degrees but above average, which means we could even see some 50s and even low 60s back in areas like Minnesota and North Dakota. And again, we are in February. This is not something you see very often. Eventually, as we go into the weekend, I do think we are going to see a cold blast back over in the Midwest, Ohio Valley and Northeast. Exactly how intense this is and exactly where it goes all remains uncertain at this time, but confidence is growing that we will have another shot of cold air, maybe even Arctic air as we go into early March. Now, here's the thing. We actually could see some snow at this, and we also could see some severe weather break out down in the Dixie Alley. However, it is too early to tell what's exactly going to be happening here in early March, but I do think Arctic air is definitely going to be something that's on the table for those over in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and also the Northeast. Now, this winter is about to take a major turn. These are some of the low temperatures that we had Thursday morning back over in the central and northern plains, many areas as much as 15 to 25 degrees below zero. Let's just take southern Nebraska, for example, at negative 16 degrees on Thursday morning. Over the span of only five days, as we go into Tuesday afternoon, that same exact area will be around 65 degrees, and many areas in the central plains will be in the 60s and 70s. That is about an 80 to 90 degree difference in temperatures over the span of only five days. That is just unbelievable. We are going from five layers of coats, pants, and hats to now to flip-flop weather and as well as shorts and t-shirts. I mean, it's unbelievable the trend that we are seeing here over the span of five days. So make sure you got all the necessities ready to go in your closet as we are going to be having a 180 turn in terms of the temperatures here over the next few days, going from legit winter weather to now talking about mid to late spring type temperatures back over in the central plains. Now, over the next week or so, we are going to be dealing with a few different storm systems. And the first one is going to be this weekend. As we go into Sunday and into Monday, a blob of showers and even thunderstorms will be ongoing back over in the Gulf. This is mainly going to be impacting areas like Louisiana, Mississippi, and then eventually into Florida as we go throughout the daytime on Monday and eventually into Tuesday. Some flooding rainfall is a concern back over along the Gulf Coast. This will eventually move into Florida as we go into late Monday and early Tuesday before eventually moving into the Atlantic as we go into late Tuesday and Wednesday. And I just want to point out that if we were in hurricane season, this actually would have a chance of becoming a tropical depression or storm going right through the Gulf, but the water temperatures obviously are way too cold for that, and obviously we are in winter. So the odds of us having any sort of tropical activity this time of the year are very, very low. Now, eventually, as we go into Monday into Tuesday, we are going to have a quick shot of snow back over in parts of northern New England. A little system also moving through the Midwest. These are some of those Alberta clippers that I referred to a little while ago that are going to be basically moving right across Canada and then moving right over the Great Lakes in the northeast as we go throughout the week. This will keep things a little bit more active up there. And then eventually, as we go into Thursday, a slightly larger storm system will move across areas like the northeast and the mid-Atlantic. Does not appear to be anything significant in terms of really any sort of severe weather. There could be a little bit more heavy snowfall, though, in the northeast. Eventually, by the weekend, things become a lot more uncertain here, but the GFS model continues to show a very dry weather pattern across most of the United States, all the way back through even the west coast, throughout areas in the Great Plains and also into the southeast. Meanwhile, the Alberta Clippers keep things active back over in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and northeast. And then by the first full week of March, which is between about March 3rd all the way through the 10th, I do think we're going to start to see some large storm systems that move over the Rockies and then eventually pose the risk for some level of severe weather and then also the return of maybe a couple more big winter storms before winter is all said and done across areas like the Central Plains, you know, the Midwest and also back through the Northeast. It's too early to tell exactly what the magnitude of any of this will be and exactly when it'll be happening. I just think overall as we go into the first couple weeks of March that we are going to be gearing more towards the return of severe weather. And to end today's forecast off, I do want to show you guys something very interesting. This is the GFS Onsite that show you basically the chances of seeing greater than one inch of snowfall. This is all the way through the very end of February. Notice that the probabilities are really all the way up in Canada. We don't really have much of a chance anywhere else here across the lower 48, unless you're back over in the Rockies or in far northern New England or back over in the Great Lakes region. But it does show an increase of those chances as we go throughout the first week of March. The probabilities actually increase a bit back over in the Central Plains, Midwest, and also back through the Northern Plains. So if you think winter is entirely done, I would say it's not yet done because because we are going to have another shot of cold air back over in the northeast at the very end of this month. And if that lingers even for a few days and we get one of these systems to come across the central plains, that could kind of mix some of that cold and warm air together, creating a potential even for a winter storm threat. Now, with all that said, I think the probabilities of us seeing a full-blown winter storm like what we've been dealing with in February are relatively low. This is, again, the probabilities of seeing at least one inch of snowfall. Again, generally speaking, 
30 to 40 percent for that is definitely not something that's going to really indicate that we're seeing a big winter storm in the first couple of weeks of March but I definitely wouldn't take it off the table yet I think that cold air mixing in again out of Canada moving into parts of the United States could help to you know elevate maybe some of the snowfall chances throughout the first couple of weeks of March especially back over in the northeast and as well as in the midwest in the Ohio Valley this is also the European ensembles which show again a very similar story probabilities are definitely still there back through the Texas Panhandle and also back through parts of the Midwest and the Northeast. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and like the video.